Hi, I'm Mark from LM Small Engine. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. I'm a while back, I was watching them TikTok shorts and I saw a guy that had like a flywheel and he put a bunch of springs on and he got it to move around and it worked like an engine. So we're going to try that, see if it's plausible, see if it works. A lot of that stuff on the internet is not really real. And if we get it going, see if it's practical, like if it can run an alternator or run a generator or something so hope you enjoy the video got some nice bearings and housings here a greasable kind That's what the springs are going to run on. Oh, we'll start welding now. Okay, here's the spring cam. I weld this on that shaft and we go like this. That's gonna hopefully give us the movement of the, when one side tightens up. It's gonna keep on rotating that wheel, supposedly. And I use bearings, so if it works, it lasts longer. So I'll let that cool and I'll start welding on the frame here.
getting close to being done. All the springs are on bearings. We got a bearing there and the two main bearings here and the two big flywheels are gonna go in there. Now we just gotta make a contraption to put these on and I'm gonna do it so you can tighten them up for more tension and then you gotta loosen them up because that's probably the only way it's gonna stop is if you loosen the tension. So get that figured out next. Okay, I got this doggone thing done last night and I tried tried doing it and I mean I did everything you could. Each one of these springs has a ball bearing attached to it on the bottom. These are all adjustable. I tried all different ways and made one side tighter, one side looser. And this there's even a bearing here. Two great big old pillow bearings here. I mean, there's no resistance when you have these, you know, this thing will spin. These pulleys come off a of McCormick Deering threshing machine. McCormick Deering were the only ones that balance their pulleys. These are where the, they're kind of curved this way, where they put them belts on from the tractor to the, to the threshing machine. That was before they invented combines. But I use these wheels a lot on these little generators I build. But anyways, I watched that video like three or four months ago, then last night and most of today I was watching them videos. They look real, but they're all fake. I don't know what to tell you. But you can get it going, but there's no, there's no pulsation. It's just equal. It's all equal. You need, like on a gas motor, when the spark lights the fuel mixture, that's the propulsion. There's no propulsion on these. Even the little mini, mini motors you see on them, video shorts, that, all that crap is fake. There's one that had a great big old, must have been like a 10,000 watt generator on one of these. They're, that's impossible. It's just totally impossible. But... It don't work like them doggone videos, I'll tell you that. It wants to work, but it needs that propulsion. I 
You know, it, it's trying, it's trying its hardest. But there's no way to give it that propulsion, to give it that extra, that extra step. And these things here are 48 pounds a piece. I enjoy building, as I love building stuff like this, but all them videos you see this kind of stuff in it, it's all fake. And I mean, them guys have millions and millions and millions of views. One, one I seen had 145 million views. So that guy got rich off a fake piece of crap, I guess. That thing's, but you know, that's it's fake, pure fake. But anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. I had fun making this thing. I had a blast making it, but. Don't believe in all that crap you see on, on TikTok and YouTube on this kind of stuff because it's all fake. Anyways, appreciate you watching this video. If you like my videos, please press the like button. Please subscribe. Anyway, you guys have a good afternoon.